Chapter 14 One Sabbath day, Jesus was in the home of a leader of the Pharisees. The people were watching him closely because there was a man there whose arms and legs were swollen. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts in religious law, Well, is it permitted in the law to heal people on the Sabbath day or not? When they refused to answer, Jesus touched the sick man and healed him and sent him away. Then he turned to them and asked, Which of you doesn't work on the Sabbath? If your son or your cow falls into a pit, don't you proceed at once to get him out? Again they had no answer. When Jesus noticed that all who had come to the dinner were trying to sit near the head of the table, he gave them this advice. If you are invited to a wedding feast, don't always head for the best seat. What if someone more respected than you has also been invited? The host will say, let this person sit here instead. Then you will be embarrassed and will have to take whatever seat is left at the foot of the table. Do this instead. Sit at the foot of the table. Then when your host sees you, he will come and say, friend, we have a better place than this for you. Then you will be honored in front of all the other guests. For the proud will be humbled, but the humble will be honored. Then he turned to his host. When you put on a luncheon or a dinner, he said, don't invite your friends, brothers, relatives, and rich neighbors, for they will repay you by inviting you back. Instead, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. Then, at the resurrection of the godly, God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. Hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus exclaimed, What a privilege it would be to have a share in the kingdom of God! Jesus replied with this illustration, A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. When all was ready, he sent his servant around to notify the guests that it was time for them to come. But they all began making excuses. One said he had just bought a field and wanted to inspect it, so he asked to be excused. Another said he had just bought five pair of oxen and wanted to try them out. Another had just been married, so he said he couldn't come. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. His master was angry and said, Go quickly into the streets and alleys of the city and invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. After the servant had done this, he reported, There is still room for more. So his master said, Go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come, so that the house will be full. For none of those I invited first will get even the smallest taste of what I had prepared for them. Great crowds were following Jesus. He turned around and said to them, If you want to be my follower, you must love me more than your own father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters. Yes, more than your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. And you cannot be my disciple if you do not carry your own cross and follow me. But don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first getting estimates and then checking to see if there is enough money to pay the bills? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of funds. And then how everyone would laugh at you. They would say, there's the person who started that building and ran out of money before it was finished. Or what king would ever dream of going to war without first sitting down with his counselors and discussing whether his army of 10,000 is strong enough to defeat the 20,000 soldiers who are marching against him? If he is not able, then while the enemy is still far away, he will send a delegation to discuss terms of peace. So no one can become my disciple without giving up everything for me. Salt is good for seasoning, but if it loses its flavor, how do you make it salty again? Flavorless salt is good neither for the soil nor for fertilizer. It is thrown away. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand.